Honourable Minister, please conclude. Uh, House Chair. We still have four minutes. Uh, on a point of order, House Chair. Where is the point of order now? Yes, yes uh, Honourable House Member. Chair. You know, the Minister has just raised it now using Isizulu. Now. Honourable Members, we can, we um, can understand I, I have indicated to the Honourable Nzimandi that unfortunately the interpreting services are not active right now. I will look into that but matter. But we can hear without the interpreter. I am, I am very sure you can hear. Unfortunately, I cannot. And I would also refer but you to the But we are telling you, Honourable you cannot Member, hear, but we are telling you. Honourable Member. Act. I will go to the Hansards and the official record. You can't hear, but we heard him. No, no, Chairperson. I know so what we are telling you. Member, I fully appreciate that, but I am now going to stop the matter here. I have ruled in terms of this, and you can then write to the speaker, but I do also undertake that I will refer to the Hansard with the correct translation, and I will then come back with a ruling in the appropriate forum. Thank you. I will now not take any more further points on this particular matter. I have ruled on that. Uh, Is I... it another point? And please refer uh, to the exact rule that you are referring to. Yes, member at the back. Uh, thank you so much, yes. Honorable Speaker. It's Dr. Managa from the Economic Freedom Fighters. It can't be correct, Honorable Speaker, that uh, you, you Yes, please. It cannot be correct, Honorable Speaker, that I we don't have the interpreters in the House. Whatever has to be concluded here, you have to refer to the answer. It can't be. We cannot allow you to go on in this way. Honorable Member, um, uh, I fully understand. Could I please, the rules do indicate that you cannot interrupt while I am busy speaking and dealing with a particular rule. The fact of the matter is, regardless of the reason why the interpreting services are not active, and I do not take kindly to the fact the, that they the are the not active. The, the chairperson. The the no, the no, no, but the Thanks. same thing happened. Lendo and the Gaibi and the You are now, you know, let me put it this way. Honorable colleagues. No. But we need to finally understand the dog of Mana Lendo Yenzeka, Yonam Shanje, Yonga Pina interpreters, Honorable Nays of Yenzegil. So for Negasi Tinis, Tinas Nenzelegil, and Dog was status in gays. I fully and the legilet in over status in gays. But I would expect no, but as but of Fanelanga Yenzeg, Yenzega Ogo, cause Yenzegil is all Yenzeganam Shanje. In the Ogobana Tinasanga was who's express. Honourable so members, members, member, members, order. This matter has now gone far enough. Honourable Niaus, I'm not going to take your point now. I am still on the floor and ruling. Honourable member, Honourable member, I will not allow you, not allow you to speak if I have not recognised you. If you are serious about the rule, we are scrupulous. We are scrupulous, member. I am scrupulous. We are scrupulous. We are scrupulous. I have already I told. Think, must, please must, write to the speaker to object. Chairperson, on the mix, I will not you, take any further points of order. Remember, I have not recognised you. It's not a point of order. I have not not point of order. You. It's not a I, point of order. Then I, I do not recognize you. It is within the rules that I, I recognize you I or not. I'm not can, recognizing you. Go, you can go as far as you go. Two points that I want to raise. There are three languages that were actually used. It's Africans. There was no interpretation. You never actually intervened on that particular matter. And people who are actually sitting here, it's a violation of the constitution of this country. We are not referring to any rule. I'm referring you to the country of this country. That is point number one. You must acknowledge that English was actually used. The other languages were used. Africans was used. You never actually had a problem with that. Now, when issues are actually tabled in vernacular, which is a constitutional matter, you're actually interfering. That, that is actually your point of order. And you must actually have respect to our languages we don't take kind of that. We can't take kind of that. And indeed, we're going to actually take this matter up with your good self 
because that actually is segregation to our languages which are actually enshrined in the Constitution and in the Bill of Rights. Absolutely. Honourable Member, I could not agree with you more. We have 12 official languages. And you were more than welcome to raise a point of order with the Afrikaans. We must tell you, we don't take kind of that attitude towards our languages. Now, the attitude is not my attitude. I have informed you. It's definitely your attitude. Ah. We don't take kind. Our languages cannot continue to be subjugated and to be undermined like you are actually doing. You must respect that house. You must be honorable. And we are actually pointing it now. We are actually pointing it now. It can't go on, on like this, not anymore, with our languages. Honorable, 